For the longest time, people have been interested in personality. We hear a lot about the A type or the B type. Some people have claimed there are no personality types. Other people, like the Myers-Briggs, have claimed for a long time there are types, although the empirical evidence is not so clear. And we in personality have spent years trying to show that's actually not the way the world is. That's why I was quite surprised when we showed maybe it is the way the world is. Recently, it has become clear and well accepted by psychologists throughout the world that there are what's called personality traits or personality dimensions. And the five dimensions are neuroticism, extroversion, openness, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. And this was our starting point. Let's start from what people agree on. Now let's investigate. So if you could imagine, instead of taking five dimensions, you, you visualize two, and then each person is a dot in this space. Usually people would just divide up this space into the four quadrants, assigning this is a type, this is a type, this is a type, and this is a type. But actually, if you look where people are located, most of the people are actually pretty much average. And if you look into what the data tells you where, can you actually find individual clusters of people? It does not necessarily correspond to these four quadrants. So you could imagine we now have one million people or hundreds of thousands of people and we have their position in this five-dimensional space. And we used standard clustering algorithm that tries to find a separation into distinct groups. And what we found out is that we could find four such clusters. So four types of personality. Now you can call them types, but they're not completely separable types. They're lumps in the batter, is the way to think about this. One of them we called role model. These are people that are nice and agreeable. They are not neurotic and they are open-minded. Another group that we called self-centered was sort of the mirror picture of this. So these are people that are not hardworking, they are kind of disagreeable, they are not open-minded, and they are extroverts. The third cluster that we called reserve was characterized by low neuroticism and low openness. The fourth group was sort of kind of average. There is very little to say about average. <laughs> people think that there are no firm findings in the social sciences and humanities, but that's not true. Can we answer these questions which people have been interested for thousands of years and now in the age of big data, this gives researchers new tools to study personality on a scale that was not there before.